Spoilers hash slide voiceover narration in-game condition 1 Though Arcade's intentions were pure and his goals were noble, he ultimately succumbed to the harsh brutality of the Mojave like so many before him. 2A Tricked by the Courier and imprisoned by the Legion, Arcade remained Caesar's personal physician for several years. Caesar grew fond of speaking with such an educated man on philosophical matters. Arcade became his unwilling intellectual sparring partner. After years of such servitude, during an unguarded moment, Arcade used a surgical scalpel and his bare hands to disembowel himself. Lacking any other skilled medical personnel, the Legion was unable to prevent his death. Caesar mourned his loss for months. 2b Though the Legion was victorious at Hoover Dam, the Legate did not have the same medical needs as Caesar. Lanius quickly tired of Arcade's acerbic wit and had the doctor crucified. Then sell Arcade to Lucius. Complete Veni, Vidi, VC for Caesar's Legion. 3. During the retreat of Caesar's Legion from the Mojave Wasteland, Arcade was a sad casualty, one of many. His body was heaped with those of many others in a nameless ravine on the Legion's long march home. 4. Though Arcade had not hoped for an NCR victory, he was proud of his role in the defense of Hoover Dam against the forces of Caesar's Legion. Unfortunately, when word spread that Arcade was once a member of the Enclave, he was forced out of the followers of the Apocalypse. Pursued by bounty hunters, NCR Rangers, and the Brotherhood of Steel, Arcade pushed deep into the Eastern Plains and was never heard from again. For the NCR, complete for Auld Lang Syne and advise Arcade to aid the remnants. 5. Arcade had hoped that Freeside would be able to remain independent of NCR rule, but he was glad that Caesar's Legion had been stopped at Hoover Dam. He tended to the sick in Freeside for a while longer, then returned to NCR territory to become a teacher with the followers there. For the NCR, complete for Auld Lang Syne and advise Arcade to return to the followers' camp in Freeside. 6. Though Arcade was crushed by the Legion's victory at Hoover Dam, he was not among NCR's casualties. During the NCR's retreat from the Mojave Wasteland, he helped defend NCR citizens and refugees on their way to Mojave Outpost. Unfortunately, a NCR ranger identified his father's armor as Enclave property. He was arrested, tried as a war criminal, and imprisoned indefinitely. 7. When news reached Freeside that Legion forces were approaching New Vegas, Arcade did his best to help people escape with adequate supplies. A Legion explorer saw Arcade helping locals escape and pointed him out to a centurion. Arcade's group was run down somewhere near Westside. There were no survivors. 8. Arcade was outraged by Mr. House's power play following the defeat of Caesar's Legion at Hoover Dam. Though he remained in Freeside for a short time after the Securitrons established widespread control, he eventually traveled back into NCR territory. Disillusioned with the followers of the Apocalypse, he settled down in the outskirts of the Boneyard, where he worked happily as a family doctor. 9. Though Arcade was proud to have been one of the defenders who turned back the Legion at Hoover Dam, he was crushed by Mr. House's ascent to power. Saddened by the loss of life and liberty in the area, Arcade left the Mojave Wasteland for parts unknown. He was never heard from again. 10. Arcade was proud to have been one of the defenders who helped repel the Legion from Hoover Dam. He was prouder still to see the area freed from the shackles of the NCR and Mr. House. Though independence for New Vegas was not all he hoped it could be, Arcade used his enclave knowledge and technology to keep order wherever he could. 